Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your love reading for September 2019. I want to say thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, purchase readings. It means a lot. It helps support the channel. And if you can support the channel, please do so uh, by doing uh, one of those things. Liking, sharing, commenting, uh, purchasing readings, okay? So let's get into it for Aquarius, love. Okay, so off camera, what I was getting was that some of you, um, <clears throat> you're dealing with someone who either wants to come back or there's someone new who has a, a, a real likeness to you, a real fondness to you, but they aren't exactly in a place where they can give you what you're asking for. The spirit is asking you to make the right choice. If you want someone to level up, if you want someone to give you or pr at least provide you with an opportunity to to expand on the relationship, then you have to create boundaries within yourself, within the relationship. Um, change starts with you is what I'm hearing, okay? So that's for some of you. Some of you, you're in a marriage relationship. You're at a place of just really contemplating, should I leave, should I stay, should I go? Uh, will this get any better? There might be an element of the Aquarius taking care of the household, taking care of someone. Uh, finances are playing a big part in in the relationship or maybe the lack thereof the children are playing a part in the relationship too they see what's going on uh trying to hold something and hide something from family members too in, in that regard uh you're not sure if someone is cheating or if they're lying uh, you're not sure if someone is genuine when they return, if they return. Okay. So let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. Some of you, you have someone coming in. Could be soulmate, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to. Um, but you've been, you've done the work. You've been saying your affirmations, prayers, lighting the candles, all of that. Okay, so let's get, get into this. What do you have to tell the Aquarius in past situation? The Queen of Cups. So yeah. <clears throat> you've done the work. You've been nurturing. You've been caring. You've been understanding. Especially in the past. You've been the one giving. You've offered the cup. Even to situations where there probably wasn't an even give and take. Or there was not an exchange. But more so the Aquarius or maybe someone else offering the cup in the uh, present we have the ace of pentacles nice solidifying a connection solidarity here understanding that this is something that you can build upon this could be a situation a relationship that you can have for years this talks about engagement ring engagement making a large purchase moving in together making solid and stable uh decisions the opportunity to okay in the near future what can you tell what do you have to tell the aquarius the will of fortune nice some of you have paid off a karmic debt you have done some type of charity work that allow for every aspect of your life to be blessed. Here in the present is the blessing, the Ace of Pentacles, and the near future is the Will of Fortune. It says that your fortune definitely, the Ace of Pentacles, is changing. Troublesome, bad, turbulent, disappointing times are over. It's time for newness, fame reputation opportunity um that's masculine energy 
long-term goals to be fulfilled looks like in career and love what do you have to tell the Aquarius in regards to their partner and the, for the past the eight of wands so someone may have communicated with you in the past or something there's there was travel air travel there was communication there was talks about maybe trouble jealousy in a particular relationship or there was loving there was a loving conversation loving messages going back and forth this is um, a point a period of trying to work it out trying to work on the merger hmm there there's mystery in regards to the other person so this is information gathering too by way of you know speaking with each other maybe asking very real and necessary questions um let's see in the present for your partner or the other person we have okay we got two cards the seven of pentacles and the hermit so your partner is at a place of separation and contemplation looking at a particular relationship marriage contract looking for answers within without you know outside of themselves in regards to what to do about a situation that they put a lot of energy effort time money into um what to do in this situation but the hermit says that the answers come from within you this is a person who has come to also this is a person that they might need to get some expert advice about the forward movement how to regain control this is reevaluation. maybe this is where your partner is um and trying to reestablish control in their life but the answers are coming from you know, the star card that flipped out the answers are coming or the answer is within this person they can't keep looking to outside influence i think we i talked about that in the beginning someone worried about what family thinks or what you know taking into account friends and family's opinion the answers have historical reference experience life experience for your partner or your other person the near future for your partner or the other person is justice card so this person may be thinking about bringing the gavel down whatever that may mean for them in their life doing making a, this is a decision that is fair and just uh, fair and just firstly for them this is a person concerned about karma too karma comes in it's what you have put out it's coming back this is a person who feels like they need to right the wrongs in regards to we'll pull a card to see what is that in regards to over at the website we will drill down this energy but this is a person who um, once again may be receiving really good advice or they give good advice uh, a debt being repaid someone who feels as if they need to write the wrongs balance the scales things have been out of place out of whack out of order for a while with your partner you could be dealing with virgo you could be dealing with libra cancer pisces scorpio cancer in particular i mean everybody's here so okay so then you at the bottom of the deck the star card maybe another aquarius this is the complete overhaul a new start a clearing of the state this is also someone getting what is due to them karmically the will of fortune says that luck is in your favor aquarius it's just that you 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 me no one controls luck so we're not we don't get to write out the story of how we are lucky but we know and we can rest in the energy uh, that luck is now turning. Your luck is turned or it is turning. Now it is, it is going to be good. Once again, 
something about karma and paying a karmic debt, taking on almost like charity, energy of others, but not allowing it to destabilize you. Allowing it to fill you and energize you in the capacity of knowing that this is all good measure. It's all stored so that goodness, will of fortune, can come to me a beneficial, rewarding, a lucky change shift can come towards me. How everyone is seeing you and viewing you presently um, is the Ace of Pentacles having something foundational happen for you. Uh, making foundational changes something could your, your world could have completely been turned upside down flipped on its head and now you're seen as and you are uh, starting over but in in good measure in good faith your person is also seeing that with you it's almost as if they're fueled by you they may feel, they may already be in a merger and they, they've merged life. They've done those foundational things with someone else, bought a home, bought cars, investments, different assets, homes, um, yeah, things of those natures, inheritance, uh, retirement they may have made those foundational uh or started those foundational things with someone else but now they are reevaluating where they are presently because there is a, a sense of a void a void needing to be filled they have or they will or they no, they have been filling that void in the past with could be you aquarius it could be with other people could be with um Sex could be with uh, anything, anything that would allow them to take the focus off of the fact that they know deep down inside that they're not on the right path with the star card here. Knowing that they need to, to course correct here in the present and in the future, there might be a decision made so uh, incision and then the decision so they're, they're they're going deep into to cut away what that may be what they're cutting away we will see what that is over at the website let's let's see let's leave you Aquarius with some angel answer your your love reading is very clear cut it's very um, to the point it looks like there is a, an alignment for a particular number of Aquarius uh, you're just ready I wouldn't be surprised if that card came out what do you have to tell Aquarius what do you have to tell Aquarius Trust. You have trust, Aquarius. Your person has The person has two cards, a year from now and not the right time. The bottom of the deck between you two is perfect timing. The Wheel of Fortune talks about time also. So if something's not the right time, we do have a year from now. I don't know if they're going to make changes a year from now or things will just look completely different a year from now. Let's go over to the website and answer those questions. What is happening a year from now? What is not the right time? And what is Aquarius needing to trust? Or is this a person that they need to trust? Or is it Aquarius trusting the process and the energy? 
all right aquarius thank you for tuning in the extended read the link is below it's always two dollars 25 cents to get the extended reading just follow the link okay thank you aquarius take care bye